Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey, hey, Sagittarius. This video is for my Sag suns, Sag moons, and Sag risings. So if you feel like what I'm saying in this video doesn't resonate with you, go on and uh, check out your moon and or rising sign, which I do have linked down below, okay? this is a bonus this is a bonus love reading for those of y'all that watch my channel y'all know i'm not the love reading person but y'all like my love reading so here you go <laughs> um we'll be looking at the energy surrounding valentine's day and the week around it and i will be reading for singles and couples so uh scroll down to the description box and just click on the timestamp that applies to you all right all righty to get started, the first card that we have coming up will be for my Sagittarius singles. And around this Valentine's Day, you've got the Ace of Cups. This is a positive energy. Um, but as you guys know, I don't sugarcoat my readings and I'm looking at your other cards, which I will get into in a moment. The first thing that I'm going to say to you, Sagittarius sis, 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 is, is that you need to be cautious with whoever you are involved with currently. Um, the Ace of Cups is a card that resonates with an energy of new love, new just, you know, literally feeling like your cup is filled, your cup is full. Um, it is an Ace card, so this is new love. This could be a newfound spark in like an old love, or it can be just coming into alignment with a new person. And I want to remind you guys as far as soulmates are concerned and as far as karmic partners are concerned everybody that we come across and that we become involved with there is a reason for it be mindful and try to decipher you guys are sagittarian so you do resonate with that kind of psychic spiritual energy try to decipher when these people are meant to be you know long term or when they're meant to be kind of a okay the here and there and i got the energy that i needed from you type of thing this card does tell me right now your heart chakra, I'm sorry, this is in the position of where your heart chakra is and what it needs. Right now, you are in a position to where you're open to being loved. Um, you're also in a position to where you, I, with this card popping up, you're just like, I need a relationship. I need a significant other. You guys are not feeling being single on Valentine's Day. That is really what I get from this card. This being a couple's holiday for you Sagittarians that are single, having this Ace of Cups pop up here it is a big, it's like a, a blowhorn, like, hey, hey, I'm single, why? That's literally the message coming up here. It's just saying like, you're like, oh no, I need somebody to love me. I need somebody to love. I want to be in a relationship. I want to be involved with somebody. Keep in mind that that is what you are feeling in regards to what your heart chakra needs on a conscious level however on a higher level this ace of cups card is telling me that Sagittarians as far as love is concerned when it is time for you to come into those things you need something authentic you need something genuine and you need something true that truly and honestly tugs and pulls at your heartstrings and makes your heart beat this is a card of authenticity in love and in spirituality and in creativity so as far as you guys are concerned under the surface you guys just need something true and you want something genuine and that's really what your heart needs i do pick up on the feeling that a lot of you guys are sagittarians you're very adventurous um you guys are known for dating multiple people not necessarily at the same time but you guys are daters for the most part unless you got some like crazy like virgo or like capricorn placements in your, in your chart or something but um this card here you know you guys are kind of used to you know giving your love and receiving the love that you give right now it might be kind of quiet for you so sad you're kind of like mm, i need some you fill in the blanks and with that being said you could be mixing up the fill in the blanks with actual love like you might just need some physical attention during this valentine's day to be completely honest sag um and you need to be a little bit more mindful about the energy that you're putting out there because what you put out is what you get back and if you are just putting out this desperate ass 
I want to be in a relationship type of energy. What kind of person do you think is about to come around for you? You know what I'm saying? All right, the next card that you have coming up, Sagittarius, and your spread is the Father of Cups. This is the King of Cups, and this is in the position of how you can tap a little bit more into a loving energy during this Valentine's Day. And the King of Cups, the Father of Cups, is a card that points to an energy of having a clear understanding of your emotional needs and also being able to know when you need to detach and look at situations without your heart if that makes sense this is also a card of just being kind of the center in the eye of the storm as things go on around you what can you do to tap more into the loving energy during this valentine's day sagittarius the father of cups is telling me that you guys need to put a little bit more of an emphasis on what you think it is that will make you feel emotionally and and physically fulfilled if that makes sense so sag during this valentine's day around this week my suggestion to you guys with this card is to if especially if you're involved with anybody uh, because it's valentine's day sure go out on a date but don't don't make no stupid serious moves during this next week um if you're involved with somebody right now and although it is valentine's day it would be a good idea to take a step back and look at the situation with a little bit more of a logical mind and say okay is this my heart talking or is this the fill in the blanks talking or is this my mind talking? like what are the feelings here is my heart really attached to whatever this is or is this some sort of facade that i have created within my own mind because i am so I feel like I'm so in need of a partner or in need of this, you know, nurturing or in need of this attention, all right? Be very, very mindful. The Father of Cups is somebody who knows, who is hip, and can also feel what's really good, what's really going down. So follow your intuition, one, in regards to whatever love partnerships you got coming up during the Valentine's week. And then two, try to try not to be so in your heart chakra and try to think a little bit with that crown and third eye chakra okay um okay scorp who was gonna call y'all scorpios because you have a scorpion here but you guys are sagittarians i know that don't come in my head the card that you guys have popping up in the position of the overall energy surrounding you for Valentine's. Ooh, and that's funny. I wasn't even done with the message, but the, before I even start talking about this card, wrap it up. All you Sagittarians, all you single Sagittarians out there that's just like, no, I need to toss it because it's Valentine's Day, please wrap it up. This is literally just popped into my head like, oh, some of y'all are about to get pre Be careful. Please be careful um now reading for what this card actually is you have the scorpion card in regards to the energy sorry yeah the energy surrounding this valentine's day for you and this is the card that comes with the energy of caution as i was saying with that ace of cups and that father of cups i think you guys need to be very very careful with who you are involving yourselves with around this valentine's day or who you are deciding to give your love or give your energy to um and then also you just need to be mindful about the type of person that you're dealing with. I, for some reason, I don't get, for a lot of you Scorpio, I'm sorry, a lot of you Sagittarius, I keep looking at the card, my bad. A lot of you Sagittariuses, I just don't get good vibes about who you're dating. I don't think this card is, um, and specifically in regards to relationships in this deck, this card talks about there being nothing but drama and chaos and just, a whole bunch of nonsense related to this relationship or this partnership that you are so interested in Sagittarius you guys are the archers you got that fire energy you could just shoot that little arrow wherever you don't have to shoot it into this particular cup and I think that's the message here as I was saying with the father of cups this this card has this energy the card carries the energy of a sense of knowing and following the in, following your intuition shoot your little arrow into a cup that you really feel good about Sagittarius as I said you guys resonate with a little bit of a spiritual a little bit of a psychic energy if you got bad vibes about the person that you're dealing with when shit starts to go south the only person that you could blame is you and you can't say that you didn't watch this video and you literally didn't have the card of caution pop up you know what I'm saying so pay attention to your intuition if you're getting bad vibes about the person that you're dealing with Sag 
that's not somebody you need to be dealing with okay the ace of cups that energy you can put towards anybody that you have an interest in be mindful about the people that you have an interest in be a little bit more considerate again tap into your intuition tap into that sense of knowing emotionally detach so you can look at this situation for what it truly is okay happy valentine's day single sages <laughs> all right the next card that i have coming up for you guys is in the position i'm sorry just kidding the next card is actually for the couple sagittarians so the first card that i have coming up for you guys is in the position of where is your little heart chakra at currently and you've got the daughter of swords which is the page of swords and the pages carry the energy for the suit so this is carrying the energy of the sword suit which is air mental perspective headspace all that good stuff this is in the position of where is your little heart chakra what does it currently need for those of you currently in relationship Sagittarius this daughter of swords card is popping up here for me to say that either one you're in a position to where you feel like there might be something fishy going on but it's Valentine's Day so you're kind of just like let's just see how this plays out on the other hand some of you may be in a position to where you're just kind of starting to see your partner for who they truly and honestly are and what I get from these spreads, and again, these are general, so if you feel like what I'm saying isn't resonating with you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign. What I get from your cards here is that you may be coming into this sense of clarity. This is a card of observation, kind of starting to slowly see things for what they truly are and understanding things and just knowing and looking at things in a fair light and realistic, realistically, right? Some of you Sagittarians in relationships may be popping, like starting to come into this energy. There may be something that has not been evident to you or you may have had the wool pulled over your eyes, so to speak. But a lot of you are resonating with this energy of, okay, no, either I need to figure things out or hmm, I'm starting to see how things really are. And we'll talk about that a little bit more going on into your next card. You've got how can you tap into a more loving energy during this Valentine's Day? And you've got the seven. I always do that. You've got the seven. You've got the cherry, you guys. It's the seven, though. Um, this is a card that resonates with the energy of self. So... And as I, like I said, I don't, I do not sugarcoat my readings uh, pretty much Sagittarius so far. And I will talk about your Oracle card in a second, but the, the your cards for those of you in relationships, they are, these cards are telling me that you are getting ready to come to the beginning of the end of whatever it is that you're in, <laughs> whatever it is that you're in. That was a Freudian slip. I didn't mean to say end and it came out. So there you go. You guys is relationships and, and I, I say this a lot about relationships and soulmate connections and karmic connections not everything is meant to meant to be forever and understand that when you stay in situations longer than you need to that's when the shit starts to hit the fan the chariot card popping up and where you can devote more energy to to be Come this more loving individual during this next week around surrounding valentine's day this is literally saying hey buckle down be strong rock with you and charge forward because something is coming in and that's what it's going to be so as you have this spread popping up for you here sag understand that you're going to start learning a few things you're going to start to see things a little bit differently during this valentine's day or during this week and they may put you into a position to where you're like oh so it really ain't me and you it's really just it's really just me and i'm gonna have to leave you in the dust but with that being said you do have the fox card, the shapeshift card here, but I do want to talk about the chariot a little bit more. How you can tap more into a loving energy. I believe people, especially sometimes people that end up in relationships, they, you know, being a part of a relationship, yes, you are a part of a whole. But at the same time, you are still an individual. You can still very much so be yourself um, and not be completely codependent. This card is telling me popping up here that sad. You may have to pull yourself from what you are used to the comfortability of your partner right and start rocking with yourself because your cards are saying that that may very much so be the energy that comes in for you very shortly here but you do have the fox card popping up at 
the bottom of your spread in the position of what the energy is surrounding your Valentine's Day. And it comes with the energy of shape shifting. And in this deck, this literally means take a step back, observe your surroundings. You got two cards of observation here. Take a step back, observe your surroundings, figure out what it is that you need and then just rock with it, okay? It is Valentine's Day, but like I said, I will give y'all the real um, Sagittarians in relationships. There's some information that you need to figure out or that you are going to figure out and it is going to put you into this space of, oh, okay, so it's like that. But before you, before you get here and before you really start rocking with this energy, what I would say is in order to figure out things for what they truly and honestly are, in order to tap into that daughter of swords energy, you do have to step back and observe everything going on. That's not to say be the detective and be snooping through text messages and following your significant other around, but everything done in the dark comes to light. So if anything has been going on or if anything is off trust you will eventually find out and with me reading for this particular week it may start to pop up for you in this week okay so yeah happy valentine's day sagittarius this is, this is, this is. <laughs> Okay, if you feel like you need a little bit more clarification or you like a personal reading, please feel free to go on and book one with me. I do have my information linked down below. Other than that, thank you guys for reading. I'm not reading. Y'all didn't read. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all next time.